let's hop straight into this because over the course of the years, I've done a lot of coaching calls with guys and I've got a, a call book next week with a guy that's very high profile, makes over a quarter million dollars a year, very successful in his field, but he's very, very badly tied up on a single mom that uh, basically abandoned him, left him. He's got one itis for it. So let's hop into the five things. Now, before we go into it, I want to say this. Yes, I know there's some ladies out there that are going to be like, not all women are like that. There's unicorns out there. Congratulations. Your unicorn ribbon is in the mail. It's coming your way. Uh, but on a balance of probabilities, these are the five most important things, guys, that you really, really need to be a hell of a lot more attentive to so you don't wind up in a situation where you can't function or you have some issues getting over a lost one, usually the single mom. Number one, cuckoldry. Now, um, if you're not familiar with what cuckoldry is, this is probably one of the biggest factors that most smart guys, when they're navigating the sexual marketplace, will pass on single moms. Because um, usually the biggest reward when it comes to children is the fact that they carry your DNA and your last name. Uh, it's such an important thing that when you get into um, Hollywood pieces or media pieces that involve royalty or anything that's regal, you know, for example, let's take Game of Thrones as a recent example. Um, you know, uh, you heard throughout the entire series, well, he's not a Stark, you know, and that's what the consistency is when it comes to cuckoldry is, um, yeah, it is important, but it's so important to men as fathers that they know that their name is passed on. Right? They know that their name carries meaning and that name with its DNA is passed on. And when you get involved with a single mom and you start to raise her kids, um, you're basically raising another man's children. You're a cuck. Um, there's animals in the wild that'll basically drop their eggs in the nest of other birds, birds, you know, more specifically, and those dumb birds will raise the uh, eggs that are hatched as their own. They don't, they don't pay attention to the details. And that's really what guys get themselves into when they get wound up with single moms is they end up getting uh, cuckolded where they end up essentially applying their tools, resources, and everything to the genetic investment of another man. It's, it's not particularly rewarding. It's often used as a disparaging term on the internet these days. Um, it's usually the number one reason why most, most guys pass on it. 